The plugin we'll be using today is this one here, Multi Properties. So let me show you first how to select the nodes and then how to add or remove properties. And then we can take a look at the additional settings. So there are three ways you can do this. If you right click a folder, you see here, add properties, remove properties. This is one of the options. The other one, is by selecting a group of notes. So I can click here, hold shift and select a group of notes. And then I can right click and I'll see the two options here. The third one is quite useful. Uh, as you know, when you search for something in Obsidian, for example, caveman, by the way, this is uh, a vault I created to export my blog to micro dot uh, blog. I'll talk about that in a specific article or maybe a future video. So cavemen are my uh, cavemen are my posts about the caveman digital caveman project. But as you know, in Obsidian, there is no way to select all these nodes here when you search for them to do something to add a tag to move them somewhere else. With this plugin, you can at least add, for example, tags to all of them by clicking here we can now see the two new options, add properties and remove properties. Okay, so now let's do something here. Uh, for example, let's go to toolbox. As you can see here, I have many properties and for the export that I'm working on, I only need this one here, title, date, URL and tags. So let's go back to toolbox here, right click, remove, properties. So there are all these ones here. So we can click all the ones we don't want. Make sure I still have date, tag, title and URL. Okay. You can select check all, of course. It will ask you again if that's okay. Delete. Now, if we click any of these nodes here, you can see that the other properties are gone. But going through them, I noticed that, for example, this one here doesn't have the date. And I need the date because the microblog importer doesn't understand uh, notes without a date. So let's right click here again. And now we'll add a property. So first, we have to change this type to date. And here I'm going to add the name date. Submit confirm. And there it is. So all nodes now have the date property, but there is more. So let's take a look at the settings. This one here that is already uh, selected as on is to include subfolder. So when I did this right click here, all the properties were applied to all the subfolders or removed from all the subfolders. So this is what this one here does. This one here is also very useful. When adding a property with a name that already exists, the tags will override the property's existing value. If left disabled, the new value will be added to the old as a list. I think the best way to explain this one is showing you. So we'll do that in a moment. Then there is the list delimiter. This is simply what will uh, separate the values in the list. I think comma is, is a good one. This one here is also pretty interesting. You can create a template for your properties. Let me show you. So I already have it here, template. You can use whatever name you want and put this anywhere you want. So I created those properties that uh, I'm using as a template. And if we go back to the settings, I have to tell uh, the plugin where the template is. So now we have it here. Better yet, let me first delete this and show you. So if I select these two guys here and want to add a property, as you see, there is only one line. I have to create this, build this lines here. So that property is to make our life easier. So if we go back here, and put this name here, template, which is this. I can now select this two here, add a property. And as you can see, it shows me the same properties I have in that template. So if you are doing something over and over again, this is a good way to uh, 
not waste your time. So from here, all I have to do is submit. And now I have uh, that group of properties uh, applied to both nodes. Okay, let's talk about that property uh, people, for example, that I remove. Let's say I have my name here. And I have my name here. Let's make this uh, a list. Oh, it's already a list. And is this one a list? Yes, this is also a list. So now, if we go back here and take a look at this, we have this if left disabled, the new value will be added to the old one as a list. So let's keep it like this. And let's select both of them. Oh, I'm going to remove this here. Then we can add properties. So one thing I noticed, maybe because this was not updated, there is no list here, but text works. So people. And now let's put another name here. So I'm using a property that I already have, and I'm putting a new name. But because that uh, switch is turned off, it will add a name. See? Now we have two names. However, if this is on and we select both nodes, and again, I'm going to add a property. I'm going to use people again. Now, now it removed the other names and added this new name. That's it for this one. For more quick videos like this one, check this playlist here. If it was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider joining my Patreon or buying me a coffee. Thank you so much for your time. See you soon.